Hello everyone and welcome back to another Crows programming course in Greenfoot. Um, today we're going to be learning how we can use parameters to change images automatically without creating a bunch of different actors. Okay, so first we're going to have an empty screen and create a new actor and we'll call this animal and we'll go into our animals and we are going to be switching between our animals we're going to add an animal in there let's just have them move automatically here so we're going to have them move four um, then we're going to have them if um, get x is greater than what's the size to check the size of our world um, 600, if it's greater than 598, we will have them, we're just going to do the basic turn, and we're just going to have them turn 150, which will just turn them off of that, and then copy, let's not reinvent the wheel here, so we're going to have our other X, so if it's less than, we need to switch this over to a less than, uh, Two. It's going to turn 150 greater than y is. Whoops. Undo. Undo. Get y greater than 398 because it's 400 tall. Um, and then get y is less than three. We're going to turn. So let's test this. Throw an alligator in there. Run. Okay. Good. He's turning off of there. And it'll be fairly random. Um, just because he's hitting the wall a few times, um, it'll, it'll calculate him hitting the wall a couple times, and that'll just bounce him all over the place. Okay. Um, so let's add him in here. And let's actually just... If we save the world, it creates the prepare method. But instead of creating the prepare method, I'm going to take this out, take this out, and we're just going to add our object animal. So I just took the add object portion of it, and I'm just going to put it in here. Um, actually, I needed to take both lines. So let's go back. Animal, animal, new animal. And paste and we are just going to add this and this just shows that the prepare method uh, is created once we save the world but we can also edit this prepare method um, and actually right here we are renaming animal this lowercase animal uh, to mean new animal with open close parentheses but we're going to use the parameter which are these this open close parentheses which I'm sure you guys have been wondering about um, in our code so I'm going to copy that cut that and then I'm going to put it right here so you guys can just type that out so if that was confusing for you I'm just telling you where it came from this you can just type out new animal and the location that we want it so now when we create the world this will always populate right here Okay, um, but when we go into animal, we can create what we call a constructor class, which we've done previously. Um, you want to put that up here, and we want to call it animal. And then um, we can do int uh, direction, and this will allow the um, animal to have the rotation of direction. Okay. If we compile that, this is now this is requiring an int and there's an error that happens right here because it needs to have now that we have created a parameter right here in this parentheses, it expects a number right here. So if this was 30, 
we could go in and now the direction, the rotation is pointed 30 degrees, zero and 30 degree angle. So now the alligator will start at that angle because it's not in the act method, it won't happen multiple times. It is just in its constructor method, so right at the start, it'll be facing at an angle. Okay, um, then what if, oh, if we pull up animal, um, and we want to change the image uh, of animal over and over again, we are going to do um, int image number equals, uh, we, well, let's not set it yet. And we can just start it in the constructor, image number equals zero. And that, right now, that doesn't mean anything. Um, and what we're gonna, we're gonna come back to that. So you guys have your image number set up and stored. I want to show you guys that you don't have to just create one constructor. You can create more than one. And before we put in the constructor, before this was added in here, this is automatically put in. If you don't have a constructor, there always has to be a constructor. So they will just put in empty parameter, nothing, uh, no method. So no commands are given. Um, no parameters, it's just blank. So if we have this and then I put in some alligators, they all notice they all face zero because this they all take this characteristic. Now if I took this out and I'm trying to add in a new alligator, it's asking me to set a direction of the alligator and I'll have it be 30 degrees so it faces the same way as the other alligator. But if we add in public animal empty parameter, it's gonna set it to zero. It's just gonna be blank and blank which automatically defaults to zero as the direction. And so then when we add this alligator in and if I save, well, this alligator would be animal open close parentheses with no parameter okay so in the world you would just if I save the world you would just see add object animal open close parentheses without a direction okay um, so what we can do with that is that we can have direction instead of being 30, I want int direction equals get ran green foot, because this is a green foot method, 360, and then set this equal to direction, then now, every time I reset, it's random which direction it's facing. Okay, um, now we're going to go into our animal and go back to getting our image number. Okay, um, let's do create a method that will change the image. And we'll do this after the act method. Okay, um, public void change image okay um, we are going to first have our image number number plus plus oh, gotta close off this method Okay, so if change number goes up, we are going to, as change number goes up, we're going to set our image. So this is our animal um, to uh, 
image number. Plus quotes dot png. Okay, so we have our string, and if we had our name of our image be zero dot png, this would be the image that would come up, or one dot png. But that's not what we have right now, so we need to create it in a way. So if image number equals equals zero. Um, we are going to have to specify exactly what we want. We're going to set image to quote dolphin.png. Okay. Actually, let's change that to one. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Two is going to be ant. Three is going to be um, C B. Four can be. Fish one, I believe is what it's called. Compile. Okay, it compiles for us. Now we need to include that method every time we hit a wall. So every time we're going to hit a wall, we're going to do the change image method. So that should add to our image and change it. Um, Okay, there's an error that pops up. This will tell us where the issue is, hopefully. Okay, let's open up our... So I think we need to get these actual images in here. So I'm going to have just a filler class or actually you don't even need to do that you can set image to animals ants we're using I believe set image now the ant is saved in the scenario images B set image dolphin and you see these are all getting added in here. Um, fish one. Okay, so now if we reset and we set image, well, we don't even need to. Once it runs it, okay, now it's a dolphin, now it's an ant, now it's a bee, fish. We don't have it go back to alligator. Ah, and we found a problem. Okay, so it doesn't keep changing. Why do you think that is? Take a second to think about that. Well, the number goes to one, two, three, four, and then it keeps adding up. Image number is now seven. We don't have, we don't have something changing after seven, so we need to reset that. So, um, if image number equals equals five, Um, image number equals zero, and we need to add if image number is zero equals, equals zero, it will be the alligator, just to make sure we got all our bases covered, not PNG. Okay, so that is the directions. This is how you use a parameter. You can enter it into the world, and you can have five or six parameters. Let's say I wanted direction, comma, int speed, comma, 
and weight, and we'll just use the speed. And so let's have move be speed. And we're going to create. So now it's not only expecting direction, but it's expecting and expecting speed here. Okay, or a number. So it could be four. And then if we created int speed equals greenfoot dot get random number five plus one, so it doesn't move zero. Um, let's not have well. Let's have. So because this is in the move, the act method of the animal, we need to create an int speed here. Speed. Get green foot dot get random number. So it starts off with a speed plus one. Oh, and I also have weight, so I want this to be speed, and I forgot. So when I saw it compile, my world, if I remove the comma, recompile, it highlights, if you can see, required int, int, int. It only found two ints, so it needs that third is what it's saying, that third parameter. And weight can be 5,000. It really doesn't matter because we're not using the weight anywhere. Okay, now, cannot find symbol variable speed, so I need int speed out here, outside of the constructor, as something, and then I can use speed equals green foot get random number. Okay, now, Throwing speed in there has caused a little bit of a problem. Let's start speed equal 4 and let's see if it changes. It changes. If it doesn't, I'll figure it out and show you on a later tutorial. Okay, actually, the speed looks like it's going a little bit slower there, faster the last time. There we go. It never hits the alligator though. Um, let's fix that really quick. If it's zero, let's check that before we add. And then I'll just flip to it. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to cut this out. We're just going to put it right here if it's 5. And then while it's 0, it'll be waiting to check because it'll switch to 0, but it'll still be an alligator. And then once it flips to 1, then it'll be a dolphin. So we have a little bit better dolphin ant B. All of them. I think I was going too fast. Sped it up too much. But now we have all of our changes, and next time we will be adding to this, um, changing it up a little bit. Um, but I'm glad you guys were here to witness how to work with parameters. Appreciate your time. Um, join me next time on Crow's Programming Lessons uh, Greenfoot Edition. Thanks.